Hello, welcome back to my uh, channel, Watchers of Big Sky. I told you I was very wishy-washy about like, will I watch it, will I not watch it, etc. blah, blah, blah. Okay, um, I rarely get like requests, like very enthusiastic requests. So shout out to Ricky Evans. Hello, this is my subscriber who was literally commenting, was it? yesterday no it says nine hours ago so literally this morning like early i don't know where hi ricky i don't know where you live but it was like 7 a.m like i wake up and i'm like ah. you know you wake up you look directly at your phone i'm like oh let me like message back and then like you message back like 30 seconds later so i was like oh my gosh we must be on the same time zone and waking up or i'm like or it's in the afternoon for him i don't know whatever or they whoever you know however you feel Ignore my band-aid. I have a boo-boo. It's not a boo-boo. <laughs> You're like, why are you talking about this? Who cares? I <laughs> had a little incident. Anyway, let's just discuss some Big Sky updates. <laughs> big Sky. The last Big Sky video we did, I'm, I've been very, very wishy-washy. I was like, am I going to watch the new season? Am I not going to watch the new season? Blah, 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 blah. But I've decided I'm going to check it out and like maybe I'll do like combined. Maybe I'll do like what week one and two. So listen, the biggest update so far out of everything is they moved the show. So it's no longer, when was it coming on? Wednesdays? It's now moved from Wednesday to Thursday at 10 o'clock. And if you are a big Shondaland person, this is the same time slot that murder, uh, getting away uh can i speak how to get away with murder used to be like i don't know how i look to you guys but my skin does not look bad like i just came from work i'm all like greasy <laughs> and shiny but at least i look moisturized <laughs> anyway you're probably like shut up and get on with it okay um let's start with some things that aren't big updates uh, the Klein Sassers, the K fam, they, no one is returning. The, the two surviving women, the mom and the sister, Cheyenne, and I forget what the mom's name is. They're not coming back. So we're not going to see any, like, it's not going to be any trial or anything like that. And they have added someone new to the, um, cast. Someone name, I'm looking at her name, Janina Janina Gavankar. Now, she is going to join the cast. Do I have a picture pulled up already? Of course not. Of course I don't. Of course not. I'm rusty. Here she is. I, I almost did. I was almost... It's like the camera is like so... Ugh, it's too bright. Too bright. Too bright. Can you see? Yes. <laughs> anyway, you can Google it. I'll leave a link down below. Whatever. So she's... Oh, here may be a clearer picture. Who is she supposed to be? You're asking. I do have that because I I put together, put together a little. You can't see that either. A little notes. Here we go. She is going to be Helena in season two. She is from Sleepy Hollow and the Mysteries of Laura. These are the pre the previous things she starred in, and um, she's gonna be a series regular. So she's every episode right off the bat and she or most of the episodes right off the bat and she's going to be in an enigmatic woman who in the wake of a car wreck involving one of her employees comes to Mo to the montana town hunting for answers including about who exactly betrayed her so somebody betrayed her that's a lot of fun um also ronald's girlfriend so she's going to be a she's going to be a series regular Anna, Anya, Anha, Anja, I think it's probably A-N-J-A is usually Anya. Anya Savic, who was Ronald's girlfriend, is going to be a, this dumb broad is going to be, <laughs> not the actress, the girl of the show. You know, we don't talk junk about random people. <laughs> We're talking about the mom. She's the worst. You mean the worst mom ever? We're going to get to see some more? Some more live action shots of the worst mom of all time. Ronald's girlfriend is going to be a series regular. She's going to be in most of the episodes, apparently. And then one, oh, 
before we get to the like sad updates and then the questionables and then let's go one more positive update marshall lindor mark lindor lindor truffle he's going to be now we already discussed the like cliffhanger of like oh is he gonna die and i'm like i don't believe it i don't believe it i don't believe it um but he is returning as a series regular and last year he was just if I'm not mistaken, he was just a recurring or whatever. He was just in the last half of the season. So now he's a he's a series regular. He ain't gonna die. I already told you that. And but you know what? I said that one of them I said that one of them should die. I maybe I should have gone back and watched my video. But cause it was him on the brink of death and it was Jenny on the brink of death. And I said that if one of them's gonna die, it's gonna be Lindor. So apparently neither of them are gonna die. I really just don't see them holding, like just, just like in Stranger Things, I feel like it's really cheap for Stranger Things to kill off, the, um, I forget the sheriff's guy's name, to kill him, oh, David Harbour plays the character, what is his name? I forgot, but to kill him off and then bring him back. It was such an emotional moment. And then to bring him back, like, oops, he's back to life. I think that's kind of cheap and you know I have a slightly higher regard for Stranger Things than Big Sky so I'm just like you know I really don't I really think they're not committing to any of their killings I think that both of them are gonna be up and walking around and like by episode three <laughs> they got shot bleeding out for 10 minutes on the side of the road blah 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 okay so here's another thing this is gonna be a little sad note for me. Um, Je Jesse James Keedle, who plays Jerry, she is going to be dropping down to recurring. She was a series regular last year. Now she's gonna be a recurring character. And she just got cast in a different show. Cause you know, we know that Jesse James, if we don't, if you don't remember who I'm talking about, this is um, the girl who was, you know, she was started as a streetwalker and then she became part of the, um, she became part of the gang and she was running around helping them solve crimes. Her. You know who it is. I mean, you know, if you watch Big Sky, you know who I'm talking about. She's going to be recurring now instead of being a main character. And, uh, you know, I guess that puts a com total and complete kibosh on all of the rumors that she and Mark Lindor were going to have a relationship. But then I was like, you know, I would like to see their relationship develop even if it was platonic. They had a good chemistry, I felt. They were cute. I just wanna see her little skinny self with that little pistol. <laughs> I just wanna see her with the pistol. But she's leaving. So you know that she is actually a non-binary person, right? And um, she's now going to be in a reboot of a show called Queers Folk. I'm not, I'm not really sure what it's about, um, but it's a reboot. It's a, I guess they saw, didn't L, the L word has a reboot too. So now they want to have a reboot of Queers Folk. Anyway, <laughs> so she's, she's abandoning ship. She's not abandoning ship, but I... I would be surprised if by season three, she was still on the show. Cause it seems like she wants to go more towards that show. She's probably gonna have a little bit more to do. They don't give her tons of stuff to do on the show. So I, I would understand, I'm so, <laughs> do I look greasy or do I look moisturized? I can't tell. But anyway, yeah, I'm so distracted. <laughs> You're probably like, really? Yeah. So I, I wonder if she's going to um, stay on the show in the long term. Speaking of someone who should be staying on the show in the long term, let's talk about Miss Preggers. So <laughs> Cassie, who is played by, I know who she is, Kylie Bunbury. Um, she's pregnant. She just got pregnant. I think she's mar she married or engaged. I believe she's married already. Let me show you some pregnancy pictures. <laughs> She's pregnant. Oh, this is the announcement. Oh, so cute. And I'm just wondering if she's pregnant, how is that working? Because this is her like 
she's gotten really like bumpy. <laughs> I don't want to say she's gotten big, but like she's gotten big and bumpy. <laughs> she's gotten nice and bumpy. Her baby bump is getting really big. It's not to the point where she, they can hide it now. It's too, she's too far past being able to, ah! <laughs> can you tell I'm rusty? Can you tell I haven't filmed in a while? Oh my gosh. My thing is totally betraying me. No! <laughs> this is so annoying. How was it before? I don't understand how it was before. And now it's like changing. <laughs> okay, lean forward. You can see like how hairy my arm is. Can it just stay like that or do I have to edit it? <laughs> like I've said before, it's not that I don't edit. It's just that I edit very poorly. <laughs> so if I have to edit it out, I can. <laughs> this is more towards the end. People don't really watch all the way to the end of my videos anyway. But anyway, this is her on Instagram. I think this is her on Instagram. She's gotten very, her baby bump has gotten very big. There was more pictures of her baby bump. But I guess that she put all of those pictures in her story and they've gone away. There aren't that many on her Instagram showing the bump. But anyway, she's all big and bumpy. So is this, do they know, do they know that she's pregnant? Because if she's all bumped out now, <laughs> all bumped out. If she's bumping along the way she's bumping along, then I think that they probably knew she was pregnant when they wrote the ending. Okay, think about it. So let's go back. Let's go back. The show ended in what, April? So July, June, May, April. So four months ago, she would have been three months along. She would have been two-ish months along at the time of... No, because they would have filmed way earlier. But hold on. This is what I'm thinking. So I'm like thinking because at the end of the show, she went off with the shotgun. Uh, who else is still here at this point? after the camera adventures i film on my ipad just to let you guys know sometimes i film on my ipad sometimes i it's anyway so that's why it's falling over so she was one off with the shotgun i i wonder if they're gonna be like oh now that we have you off and traveling we can hide your bump because we won't have to show you on camera that much i don't know i have no got i i, I have no idea guys it's interesting to me. Uh, one thing that's probably not as interesting as well is that they have changed from filming in Canada to filming in New Mexico. Um, I think that's probably, and this is my speculation on that, probably because of COVID. Because in, I know that COVID and coronavirus and vaccines and quarantine has been very contentious, even though I don't, I don't believe that it should be contentious. I think that we should all be on the same page. But anyway... So <laughs> in Canada, they might be, they, I have a friend in Canada on Instagram and every couple of weeks, like they're going back into quarantine and stuff. Like they're going into like semi lockdown all the time. So I, you know, but here in America, no matter how high our numbers are getting, these politicians do not want to have a lockdown or a quarantine, not like a, you can't leave your house, but like curfews and all this kind of stuff and all these precautions so I'm wondering if they moved from Canada to New Mexico because you know is New Mexico I don't know what color that state flips but anywhere in America is probably more loose on their on their guidelines than in Canada so it's probably gonna be easier for them to film up there um anyway I promise I did my hair this morning and this is it but in my defense, it has been the most humid summer of all time. I had to go to work this morning. I've been, if you if you go and watch my little, it's like a video and it doesn't have a, it doesn't have a thumbnail on it and it's just me like holding the phone. I do talk a little bit, like I've been having a little personal stuff going on with my family. Um, I don't wanna put all it out there cause it's not, you know, the internet's business. But you know, I've been having a little bit of a 
strange time and I haven't had a lot of personal time to myself and haven't had time to film. I might film another booktube video whispering ASMR in my little room. If you go watch that video, I'm not in my normal filming spot like now. I'm in like a little different room because I'm at, you know, a family member's home because I'm trying to, you know, be helpful and all that kind of stuff. Whatever. You guys are like, what are you talking about being so vague? But you guys get the situation or do you not? I don't know. <laughs> so leave me a little. <laughs> what emoji should we leave? Leave nothing. No, you guys aren't watching anymore. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. See you next time. Is that everything? The baby bump, her leaving. The thing, the thing, Jesse. Yeah, that's everything. That's everything. So tell me what you think down below. Bye-bye.